Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about single phase service connection and wiring with energy meter. Before starting this video, I have to say that this video is made for educational purpose only. Materials required. For single phase connection, I have taken 4 square mm single core copper wire as required. They can be taken in two different colors if required to easily identify phase and neutral. Usually black for neutral and red for phase. A tester and a double sided screwdriver. The earth link. An insulation tape. A wire stripper and a cutting plier. A multimeter or a continuity tester. A wooden meter board. The KitKat fuse. And two pole MCB and a single phase energy meter. It doesn't matter whether it is analog or digital. Now let me remove the terminal cover from the energy meter. The energy meter has four terminals, S1, S2 and L1, L2. S1 is line input and L1 is line output. As the same way, S2 is neutral input, L2 is neutral output. Now I am connecting the input supply. Strip and twist the end of the wire. Remove both the screws from the terminal block before connecting the wire. I have connected phase to L1. In L2, now I am connecting the neutral wire. In some places, we can see that two single pole breakers are used instead of double pole breaker. In such cases, only one breaker will be in open position. The other one will be in closed position during a faulty condition. So that one line will be live. If it is phase, then it is danger because the current will continue to flow through that one closed circuit. Hence, it is always recommended to buy and use a double pole MCB or RCCB as per the required current rating. Here I am having a double pole isolator. Rating of this isolator is 40 amps. An isolator can only be operated manually to open or close a circuit from the power supply. It is basically known as mechanically switching device. But MCB is completely different. In case of fault, like overload, short circuit, etc. It opens the circuits automatically. Plus, we can also be able to operate it manually. This is the rewirable KitKat fuse and it can withstand up to 32 amps of maximum current. The output line from the energy meter will be connected at the one end of the fuse. Now I am removing the fuse carrier from the base. Connect the output phase wire at L1 terminal block of energy meter and connect the next end of the wire to the first fixed contact of the base. There will be two fixed contacts at the base of the KitKat fuse to which we have to connect the line wire. Now I am connecting a line wire from second fixed contact of the base to isolator as input. That is, I have connected the output live wire of the fuse to the input of the isolator. Now the neutral wire for the isolator can be directly taken from the energy meter's output neutral terminal block L2. You can use neutral link if needed. Therefore, the neutral is connected from the output of the energy meter to the input of the isolator. Whether it is isolator, MCB, ELCB or RCCB, the connection method is same for all. Earth wire should be connected with earth link. The other two points of the earth link should be connected one to metal frame of the energy meter and the another one to the metal box of the breaker.
now i am checking the connection using a continuity tester a multimeter can also be used in a continuity mode the connections are right there is no any open circuit or unnecessary short circuit i am going to connect this test board as output to the isolator in domestic wiring sub circuits are connected to this part as output to the isolator a circuit breaker the sub circuit is a circuit within another circuit in which we connect various type of loads once the input supply is given the supply reaches the input terminals of the energy meter and supply returns through the output terminals but the energy meter does not take any reading until the load is connected here i have an analog energy meter these type of energy meters are basically known as induction type energy meter this energy meter consists of two coil one is voltage coil and another one is current coil voltage coil can be also called in different terms such as potential coil or pressure coil the voltage coil consists of huge number of winding turn of fine wire and it is connected in parallel across input mains and the current coil consists of less number of winding turns of thick wire it is connected in series with load there are two magnets present in this system one is shunt magnet and another one is series magnet in between both of these magnet an aluminum disc is placed so the disc will continuously spin due to the torque produced by the two magnets in the analog energy meter the counting is achieved by recording the number of rotations of the aluminum disc the rotation is directly proportional to energy consumed by load in kilowatt hour in digital energy meter the output is directly proportional to its digital pulse now i am placing the fuse carrier into the base let's turn on the isolator now let me turn on the load now we can see that the bulb is glowing when the output load is connected the aluminum disc will start to spin slowly and the reading is observed through the dial in kilowatt hour that's all for today hope this video will be useful for everyone don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching